Welcome everyone uh, to the first build sequence of the Sub30 3D printer. Uh, we're going to start today with the, the base of the printer. Um, it's just a piece of um, MDF uh, timber uh, with the laminate on it. Just an old piece of uh, kitchen furniture or what it was. And we're, all we're going to do to start with, we've cut this, sorry, we've cut this to 725 by 530 millimeters. And we're just going to take the sharp edges off with a, with a hand sander and the sharp corners. So we'll take you into another room to do that. First step, we're just going to use an orbital sander with a 60 grit sandpaper and we're just going to, just going to sand the edges now. So, there we go. Next step, we're just going to seal the edges to stop the, the wood flaking and powdering and swelling up in case it gets damp or wet. So we're just going to run a bead of glue should have probably gone the other way. I'm just going to run a bead of glue along there. And all it is is just to, just to seal it. So it's, it's just going to let it soak into the, into the wood. So I've got to do all the, all the sides. So just spin around. And obviously the other side's going to be a problem. Uh, next step, we've finished gluing and sanding the edges of the base. And we're just going to put, now we've, we've set up a template um, with, for this. Now we'll be supplying that template to people who are going to be making lots of these. And if you don't have a template, we might, we might have another sequence just for marking, just to show you how to mark out all the holes off the, off the drawing. Um, but this has already been done, so I haven't gone through all the steps of marking out where all these holes go. But basically it's just all the measurements have been taken off this, this uh, Bottom, bottom left corner here. That's the reference point. So all the markings, all the measurements are taken off this point and, and put onto this piece of plastic, which we're using as a template. So we're going to place it on top of our base. Just line everything up, and then just clamp it down. So just want to make sure I've got enough distance on this edge here. So I'll grab some. Just quick release clamps, it doesn't take too much pressure. Just clamp it in a position where it's not going to interfere with the drill. We've got a little battery drill here, and I've just got a 2 mil drill bit in there, that's what we've used on our template. So we'll keep that size, and this is only for marking the positions of the hole, it's not for actually doing the final hole. So this is just to get the positions. So I'm just going to like to start now. I'm just drill all these points and just be very careful not to miss any. Uh, very hard to line the template up again afterwards. So I'll just start at one, one, one end and just work my way down. Welcome back everyone. Um, the next step, we're just going to uh, screw these base components onto the base of the printer. Uh, these are the components that actually hold the, the first spec sheets. So the first step we're going to do is just clean up the parts uh, just with a de-bearing tool. You can purchase these on eBay for about five bucks and they're really easy to use to clean up the plastic after it's been printed and a lot safer than using like a Stanley knife or a, or a blade. So what you do is just run, you just use it like a potato peeler and you just, just run it around the part. You can I'll just bring it closer to the camera and let it focus. And hopefully you can see what the blade's doing. So we've just uh, finished cleaning all the parts and uh, now we're going to screw them onto the base uh, using M4, M4 self-tapping screws. And these are our recycled screws. So they've they used to hold the computer together or whatever, so they've been screwed into plastic. So grab yourself a drill, just, just a cordless drill, um, and I've got an M3, just a 3 mil drill bit in there, and we're just gonna, we're gonna work out where these parts go now, and then we're just gonna drill the parts and put them on. There's a group of four holes. Got these main, main pieces. And luckily they're different. So these will actually go here. And these are the end pieces for the perspex, which you'll see later. And they'll mount, mount like that. 
let's see if you can see that with the camera. So that's pretty much the approximately how it's going to go. So we're just going to drill these holes out. We'll start with one part. Don't need to drill it all the way through. So grab yourself a screwdriver. I'm just going to screw this part on. Let's make sure you get the, the notch the right way facing your other component. Leave it loose just until you get all the screws in position and then tighten them all up. So I'm just tightening them up now. And that's the first part on. So next we're going to uh, grab one of the plastic pieces. This is just a piece of Perspex that um, comes off the back of an LCD monitor and we just simply cut it in half. And one of the steps we're going to do just now is actually just to take the sharp edges off because it's um, a little bit dangerous to handle. So again just grab your deburring tool and just run it along the edge. Now I'm just going to take a rough file and just take the sharp corners off. So I'll just try and hold it by the camera. I'm just going to uh, mark the position for the, for the little end bracket for the perspex. So these two, these two holes that we've got drilled here are only for guidance. So what I'm going to do is just draw a guideline on there. And on the other side. So it should draw two parallel lines. And take your perspex and just put it, just plug it into the slot. And I'm just going to mark the position for the holes. And drill those out. Just to check to make sure that this is actually um, right angles to the bed. So you want to get this reasonably accurate. Just make sure your prints come out fairly square. So I'm happy with that. So next we're going to just drill a couple of holes in here with an M3 drill. Actually an M4.2 drill. But I'll just pile the drill in with this M3 bit that I've already got in there. So just when you're drilling this stuff, just do it really slowly and be really careful when you get to the other side because it tends to drip through and drip through. Grab two fairly long ones, probably a good uh, 20 mils long. 